Renesas Synergy ISDE How-To Video Messaging Framework Configuration In this video, we will focus on the configuration of the Messaging Framework component. The Messaging Framework extends the ThreadX Messaging Queue functionality, and it provides a lightweight, event-driven mechanism for two or more threads to communicate with each other through exchanging messages. The framework adopts a publish-subscribe scheme and provides features like message management, message formatting, message priority, and synchronous communication between multiple threads. The project configurator in the eSquared Studio ISDE includes the Messaging Configurator tab that allows you to configure the way a thread uses the messaging framework. You can use the Messaging tab to either create your own custom event classes, events, and subscribers for the messaging framework, or to customize pre-configured events such as the Touch event used by the Touch Panel framework. In this video, we will talk about event class, events, and how to use them in your application. We will start with e -squared Studio. At this point, you can either open and create a brand new project, or use an existing project that you want to add messaging to. In this example, we will start with a new project. We will use the board's BSP configuration, and then add the RTOS option, as this will be required for messaging. Now the project is created, Go to the BSP tab of the Configuration window, and below it in the Properties window, scroll all the way down and enable the RTOS support for ThreadX. Once this is done, go to the Threads tab and add threads and SSP components to use these threads. Once you add a message framework to a thread, this becomes available to all threads. Let's go to the Messaging tab and look at how to use the Messaging Framework. Event classes are used to define an action to be used by a specific operation or operations. Some types of framework have predefined event classes that will automatically be populated in the project. For example, in this project, we have added Audio Playback Framework, and you can see the predefined event class for this framework. Events are specific types of functions or operations that will be associated to an event class. You can view the events associated with the Audio Playback Framework event class. A Subscribers view lists all threads that are listening to a specific event class and its events. You can have one or more threads subscribed to an event class. All threads in the subscriber list can listen and act upon messages belonging to the selected event class. Let's see how to add a custom event class, events, and subscribers. To add your own user-defined event class to the messaging system, follow these steps. 1. In the Messaging tab, select the Event Classes pane and click the Add button. A new dialog box will appear with additional items to enter for this event class. The name, which is the event name, symbol, the sf underscore message underscore event underscore class symbol for the name of this event. Payload. The message payload is structured data used by the message producer. Payload header. The name of the .h header file used for this class. Payload type. The name of the payload structure. 3. Click OK. These are the steps to add your own user-defined event. 1. In the Messaging tab, select the Events pane and click the Add button. 2. A new dialog box will appear with additional items to enter for this event. The name, which is the event name, symbol, sf underscore message underscore event, symbol name for this event. In the subscriber list, you select the threads that are listening to messages from the message publisher. The connection between the publishing thread and the listening thread is established through the event class. After this, you will need to create header files that define all the event classes you set up and then the C code for how these messages will be processed. For more information on the messaging framework, refer to the Synergy SSP documentation that you installed during the SSP installation. Go to the section User Guides, Framework Layer, Messaging Framework, Writing an Application Using the Messaging Framework. This will show you examples on how to structure your code. As this was a brief look at the configuration window in regards to setting up a messaging framework, we would suggest a deeper, self-paced use of some of the examples that are posted online. 
To obtain these examples, please follow these steps. 1. Log in to the Renaissance Synergy Gallery. 2. Select the support topic and scroll down to synergy at renaissance.com and select it. 3. Select the Tools and Kits on the left menu, then the Downloads tab. From here you can see the code examples. There is a video titled Running the Synergy Application Examples that can explain the process for downloading, importing and building these examples. Thank you for watching this short informational video that has briefly touched on the messaging framework.